Well, Eric Davis and Daryl Strawberry teamed up for less than two seasons to form two thirds of an all LA born and bred outfield with the Dodgers. Davis's stint in LA was brief, but he enjoyed his time with the team that he idolized growing up and listening to Vince Scully. Our Joe Painter Lopez recently caught up with ED in the latest edition of Boys in Blue. Boys in Blue, sponsored by Caposio Buick GMC. What did it mean to you to wear the Dodger uniform in your career? History. Um, if you go all the way back to the organization and you're talking about what happened in Brooklyn in conjunction to what Jackie brought, Johnny Roseboro, Roy Campanella, uh, all the great blacks that have played for this organization and to be homegrown knowing it and then having the opportunity to put that on, it was a thrill of a lifetime, absolutely. Rip to left field. Base hit, and that could take a funny carom down there. A double to lead off the second by E.D. You were a two-time All-Star, and you obviously won a World Series with the Reds. And then after that, you went to the Dodgers. What did that do for you uh, and, and your personal confidence going to the Dodgers with that? It solidified who I was as a player and, and all the things. that Growing up in L.A., you had Vince Scully. You had Chick Hearn. You had the most legendary announcers with the Lakers and the Dodgers that any other city could have. And not having cable and listening to Vince Scully call the games on radio, you felt like you was a part of that. And then to be able to play and have him call my home runs and different things like that, it was the ultimate. And then, of course, at Dodger Stadium, you played the outfield with uh, Snyder and Butler. What kind of bond did you guys have? Straw was there first. And uh, actually, when he heard his back, that's when Corey Snyder was able to move into the outfield. But it was crazy because I'm going to tell you a little story. Brett Butler was 22, I was 33, and Darrell Strawberry was 44. And at some point over a two-year period, we all was diagnosed with cancer. So we all beat the cancer, we all did some things, so that was a historic moment in itself. Butler bluffed going, stopped. Hard draft bound ball to right on the base hit, and he will have to stay at second base. To play along with those guys and to put that Dodger uniform on was second to none. Tommy Lasorda was your manager. What's your favorite Tommy Lasorda story? I know there's many. What's your favorite? Just watching him eat the food in his locker because all the spread after the game, and he always had one fork, and he used to go through all the food. That's why I never ate at Dodger Stadium. Your thoughts on uh, playing in front of the Dodger fans? Dodger fans, let me hear it. Yeah. That's what it's all about.